So the mission at Big Mama Safe House is to reduce the gun violence in our black and brown communities here in San Antonio. We serve not just our zip code, but we serve the surrounding areas in San Antonio and Bear County. Uh, we have a huge population of underserved folks here in the city of San Antonio. So we offer a wraparound service to include a variety of things. We have great partners. We cannot do this work alone. Uh, San Antonio Council for Alcohol and Drug Awareness, which is Cicada, has been a, a huge supporter. We partnered with them and the mental health is huge in the city of San Antonio, especially when you're talking about gun violence. 53% of our youth commit suicide with the firearm piece. And so how do we bring this to our youth, right? What can we offer them? So what's better than to get to a garden where you can get your hands dirty, you can get and release all of your uh, anxiety and uh, frustration. So. Uh, we came up with the garden, of course, with the help of our partners and building and connecting. You know, since the pandemic, there's been a huge disconnect. At one time, this garden was flourishing. After the pandemic, it was just dormant. So we came together and we organized. And with the help of our youth and our volunteers, they're really ones, the ones that we have empowered for them to uh, make it look like what it looks like today. A few years back, I started to see Benny and Rose at a lot of the town halls and different city events. And so we started just running into each other. And again, uh, being neighbors, like probably 200 yards from each other, it was just a natural fit. So uh, Benny reached out and said, hey, I want to start a community garden for Big Wall Safe House. And we looked at a couple of properties. He started talking to the city and it ended up for us partnering here at Woodard Park, which was great because we had helped get Woodard Park started years ago, but the pandemic really hit it hard. And so it had no steward, it had nobody really taking care of it. So when Benny and Rose and Tiffany and everybody stepped up and said, hey, we want to lead these efforts. And then Cicada provided the resources and the funding to allow us to get the tools, the soil, the manpower out here to revive this garden. And so we're about 14 months in and it's just been a great partnership. I moved to San Antonio in 2018 and I, everything I heard was Big Mama's house. Go to Big Mama's house, send your clients to Big Mama's house, send your students to Big Mama's house. They can help at Big Mama's house. They fill a huge void for so many areas in the community related to gun violence, mental health, food sources, clothing sources, monetary assistance. So they do a, a whole gamut of stuff. I'm just a little piece of the pie, the mental health portion, but Big Mama's house is a huge impact to the community. <music> Here today, um, it's a national event where Orange is national, so everyone across the country is honoring. We're honoring our families, our survivors that have been impacted by gun violence. I'm here today to really support these organizations like Big Mama Safe House and Moms Demand Action to empower the community to use their voice. And we invite them to join us in Austin in the 89th legislative session to advocate for more gun um, safety reform to protect our community and our families. At Big Mama Safe House, uh, we're a 501c3. Um, nonprofit. Um, we're a very small organization at this time. Um, we're looking for volunteers. We're also for looking for more funding for the garden, also for more funding for Big Mama Safe House. And also um, we're looking to um, advocate um, for um, community violence intervention, which allows us to send credible messages out into the community um, to reduce the gun violence. <music>